Good morning, friends. Always it's a pleasure to say hello from the Maya, the land of the Mayas. In this time, uh, with the updates of the 23 to the 29 of January, 2022. <laughs> so this is a, a time when um, I was uh, visiting the other day a place and I see uh, so many ways the Mayas represented, you know, one of the most uh, important meals and the most, most important symbols, that is the corn. So I want you to, to connect with that energy of the corn. And um, the Spanish, uh, you know, did, did some uh, chronics or stories about the importance of the maize, the corn, uh, when they arrive. In one of these uh, stories, they said that they, they are going to have a, a little confrontation a battle with the Mayas in some place and uh, suddenly you know the Mayas didn't show up no one Maya and they said well what, what's going on what, what happened with, with the Mayas where did they go and there was a little bit confused with, with that situation so uh, what happened is precisely in that that day the Mayas are going to celebrate an a special ceremony to, to make the harvest of the corn. So for the Mayans, it uh, was more important to be in the corn ceremony, the maize ceremony, to say thank you to, go to the Lord's, to God, Mother, Mother, than to go and to do the battle against the Spanish. So the Spanish were amazed and said, oh, how important is the corn in the life of the Mayas? And precisely one of the most important things is to remember today, as we say in our oral tradition, you know, the grandmother, Shmukane, was the one who was in charge to make the human beings, the new human beings of this humanity, according with this legend, you know, they were made with the corn, the maize, you know, this cornmeal, who is uh, very sacred because that is the representation of our physical structure, our physical body, who involve bones, you know, all the systems, respiratory system, circulatory system, the heart, lungs, the stomach, the legs, the, the arms, the head, and all what is the constitution in a physical way of precisely the, the human beings. But there is a specific area in our body who is connected with that sacred energy of the corn, who are the bones. The bones are the ones who make the strength. Thank you to the bones, we, we can have the possibility to move all the structure, you know. So the bones represented that energy of the corn, is the, the calcium precisely, which is coming in, in the tortilla, you know, in, in that tasteful uh, tortilla that is our bread in, in, in Yucatan, we, we are connected with that sacred energy of the calcium, you know, the, the ones who provide the bones, the strength. There is a, a name of the Lord, the Lord Corn, who is uh, named Yum, who means Lord, Kash. Kash is uh, the corn, is the maize. Uh, this Lord, uh, has uh, different um, stories from the farmers. And they said that once in a while, when they are you know, in their corn mills, in the corn fields, they uh, watch you know, sometimes in the middle of the fields, like lighting bolts, like uh, you know, moving from one place to the other. And they call those lighting bolts with the name of you know, Yunkash. Yunkash is here. Yungash is with us, uh, he is protecting us, he is with us because he is the essence, he is the essence of the corn. So Yungash is the Lord who is in, in connection with the corn, and of course that is the essence. Spiritually talking, he is the Lord of the corn who is protecting the seed, is protecting the corn, giving to the farmers the confidence to feel a content, enjoy, and happiness to do this beautiful connection with the, mo the corn. And just for the name of the maize is the name I am, who sounds im. 
So im is just the word who said or who represents no, the maize, the corn. In Maya, you know, this will be added with another symbols like the symbol image, who represents the sacred feminine energy in the corn. So we are so connected with this beautiful story. At the same time, in the Mayan calendar, there, there are days, you know, connecting with image, the corn, you know, the sacred substance in the sacred feminine force. But remember, the most important here is how the Mayas conceive the connection with the essence of the corn and how important until now the Mayans consider the corn as the main bread, as the main tortilla, as the main meal in their everyday life. And it's, uh, there are colors of the corn. I just get it, these two colors, one who is red, represents the east, and one who is yellow, who represents the south. But in, the, in this area, we harvest, you know, the, the colors, the white, you know, the yellow, the red, and the purple who represents precisely the four cardinal points, the, the four races, the four angles, the four elements. The number four represents the same serpent, Kukulkan, but especially our humanity with the colors that we know, you know, the white, the red, the yellow, you know, and the black. So this is uh, quite important because it, it looks like the ancient ones give us to the corn the sacred representation of our humanity, the races that we are like cross, we are one. We are connected with the essence of the corn. Then this uh, now connected with the, the essence of the corn, bringing us to the connection of that beautiful uh, essence that we are. I invite you to close your eyes for a moment to ask our father and mother, thank you, thank you, thank you for the corn's essence in our bodies, in our bones, in our organs. Thank you for our flesh who has this amazing energy providing us the possibility to move, to be in motion, to do the night dynamic in our lives. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. Our grandmother is Mukane, made human beings with the Im. So there is a mantra connecting with the sacred name of the Mother, Im Ish. Im Ish. The sacredness of the corn, the essence of the life. Im ish, 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 im ish. Please touch the organs, the body, the essence of the human beings through your sacredness, Mother, healing the bodies, the bones, any circulatory, respiratory system, any organ who is in unbalance, reinforce the immune system in every human being in this moment in humankind with the essence of the corn, with the essence of the wheat, or with the essence of the rice. Thank you, Mother, for to be with us, for to give us the essence of the life in the Maya land, with the corn, with the symbol of the Yumchak, 
Kash as a symbol of the protector, guardian, and sacred spirit elemental of the corn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Himish, 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 The essence of the corn in our Latin American countries, the wheat, Europe, North Americans, Asia with the rice, the essence of life in the Maya lands connected with the sacred seed to honor, to respect, and to see the essence of the life when we eat it when we do our ceremonies and rituals. Thank you, thank you, Father, Mother, for all the love, the manifestation of the energy and strength for us, to this beautiful seed, the maize. Send love and light, abundance, joy, faith, kindness, healing, the humankind, to all the living beings in the different kingdoms. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we eat, so it is, it is done. So we eat, so it is, it is done. So we eat, so it is, it is done. In luggage, Okay. Take a breath now. Breathe in, breathe out three times. Second time. Another time. Say thank you to your teachers, your spiritual guides. Thank you for this opportunity to connect with the sacred essence of the maize, the corn. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. Take a breath and you can open your eyes. As the Mayans said, as the Mayans did, uh, if we remember that we are all connected to the seeds, the seeds within us, who represents the life. So when you eat or your bread, or you eat your rice, or you eat your tortilla, remember there is a gift who came from the creators of the life. In la quiche, a la quiche.